Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will be exploring the Evon Cozy 131 and demonstrating how to remotely access Siemens S7-1200 PLC. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to stay updated for more upcoming videos. You can also contact us if you are interested in purchasing the Evon or Siemens PLC at very competitive rates. If you haven't set up your Evon yet, please check out the video first. Link for the video is given in the description. So here I am connected to the Evon and have set up VPN connection. Please note that the IP address of my Evon device is 192.168.0.15. Now let's go to the TA portal. Here I have two S7 121 for PLC in my project with two different IP addresses. As of now, my laptop is directly connected to both the PLCs via Ethernet hub. So I can find both the PLC in accessible devices. For either of these PLC, go to the Ethernet addresses. And enable the Use Router option. Here, enter the IP address of the Evon. Note that I have enabled this option only for one PLC. Now I will download the changes to the PLC. Let's go online and check the changes. As you can see, the router address has been updated. Next, let's go online with the second PLC. Here I have not enabled the use router option. At this point, I am directly connected to both the PLC via Ethernet cable and I can ping their IP addresses. Now I am disabling the network adapter, so there is no direct connection with the PLC. Now let me connect to the E1 device. As soon as I connect to the Evon device via eCatcher, the talk to m network adapter will show as a connected. Now let's also ping the Evon address side by side.
connecting to the VPN. The device is connected and the talk to network adapter is showing the connection. Wait for a few seconds. And here we have a ping reply from the E1. Since the PLCs are connected to the E1, I should be able to get the ping replies from the PLC as well. Let's ping PLC1 with the IP address 192.168.0.1. There it is. I can ping the PLC as well. Now let's check the second PLC with the IP address ending with 2, where we have not enabled the user router option. I can pick that second PLC as well. So I have enabled the use router option in only one Siemens system. I will be exploring this further and share more details in my upcoming videos. Now let's try to go online from the EI portal. To go online, we need to select Tap Windows Adapter V9 in the PGPC interface option. Once you find the PLC, you can go online and make any required changes. Let's try to make some modification and download the changes. The download was successful and we can go online and observe the changes. Now let's try to go online with the second PLC. Now I am online with the both the PLC at the same time via E1 talk to a VPN router. I will explain more about the E1 in my upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon for notification. Until then, thank you and see you in next video.